The ayes are 99, the nays are zero, and the nomination is confirmed. On the same day that the Senate officially handed over the reins of war in Afghanistan to General David Petraeus, extremists there showed just how much turmoil they still can cause. Middleton's Wednesday set off a car bomb and stormed the entrance to a major NATO air base in eastern Afghanistan in what turned out to be a failed assault. In this uh, incident, several insurgents were killed. And the, uh, I, have, I can tell you that the security perimeter was not breached uh, at no time. And the insurgents were being stopped by Afghan and ISAF forces very effectively. Still, this is the third attack on a major coalition base in the past five weeks and shows the Taliban is not afraid to continue its assaults even as the U.S. ramps up its war efforts. The White House is now counting on General Petraeus to help turn the tide in Afghanistan. He has received much of the credit for the troop surge that was successful in Iraq, but even he admits the war in Afghanistan is a different beast. Achieving that objective, however, requires that we not only counter the resurgent Taliban elements who allowed such sanctuaries in the past. We must also help our Afghan partners develop their security forces and governance capacity so that they can, over time, take on the tasks of securing their country and seeing to the needs of their people. The White House wants to begin withdrawing troops from Afghanistan in the middle of next year, but some say it'll take more time than that to eliminate scenes like this and leave the country the way the U.S. wants to. John Belmont, The Associated Press.